next in task 4 we will see how to configure microsoft insight and uh, alert management so using this couple of command we will you know register the microsoft insight and alert management log into the azure portal and first you need to create the storage if you are not done already I have created the storage account already for this purpose. Okay, and I'm going to run this following two command to register the Microsoft Insight and Alert Management. And that's all in this task next in task 5 we'll see deploy zone resilient of azure virtual machine scale set using azure portal now let's see how to deploy azure virtual machine scale set across availability zone using azure portal so close the cloud shell and search for virtual machine scale set and uh, click create virtual machine scale set select the subscription and i'm going to create the new resource group rg02 and a virtual machine scale set name scale set 0 and the region is us so select the availability zone 1 2 and 3 Select the image Windows Server 2019 data center Gen 1, no spot instance, and select the size D2S V3 and enter the username student and enter the password 1234 confirm password. existing license no next click on disk and OS disk type premium SSD and leave the default setting and click next networking so I'm going to create a new virtual network enter the uh, vnet name find the resource group and enter the address range slash 20 create the subnet subnet 0 enter the subnet range slash 24 click ok let's edit the uh, network interface virtual network so under nick network security group click advance 
and create new. Enter the name of the new network security group. And add an inbound rule. Source any source port ranges destination destination port ranges 80 protocol TCP action allow priority port name custom allow HTTP and click add click ok under public IP address click enable click ok and under load balancing select use a load balancer load balancing option Azure load balancer select a load balancer so leave the default name and the backend pool leave it default and click next scaling leave the default value under scaling tab and click next management And select the boot diagnostic enable with the custom storage account okay and uh, leave the default storage account name that has taken click next help and review the value and click advanced Spreading algorithm, fixed spreading, not recommended with this zone. Okay, and review plus create. And click on create. Let's wait for the deployment to complete. This should take about five minutes. So deployment is complete. The next task will see how to configure Azure Virtual Machine scale set using Azure Virtual Machine extension.